Ringing the bells for the Salvation Army is an annual tradition for the Rotary Club. And when we get together uh, as uh, individuals and donate our time, take time out from our work or our families, and come and uh, ring bells. Thank you. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. And uh, let people in the community know that the Salvation Army still has needs every year. And they take the Salvation Army takes the money in turn and gives it to families to help them have a happy uh happy holiday but also to help care for their needs throughout the year and it's just part of our tradition where we try to give back to the A Batman suit! Wow, you like Batman? <laughs> hey, by the way, we need to be superheroes. You ready? Can you be a superhero with me? All right, Santa and the superhero Batman. You ready? We're going to do superhero. I wanted to wish everybody here in Fredericksburg just a merry, merry Christmas and a happy new year. It's been a great time. I've, I've met with thousands of you and your families, your children, and what a blessing they all are. I so much love meeting you year after year on the streets of this old town. What a center of history we have here. We have everything from George Washington and Thomas Jefferson to, oh gosh, the Civil War. And by the way, I wanted to tell you, do you know how I arrived at the North Pole? I'll bet you don't know that it's over the Civil War. There was a man by the name of Mr. Thomas Nast, and he wrote a... a I drew a picture and wrote a letter back in the 1860s. And Thomas, he put me in the Union camp over across the, on the other side of the river. And he used me as a political character throughout the war for, to support the North and their war effort. Well, after the war was over and the country was all coming back together, well, Mr. Nass suggested that I go live at the North Pole. I thought, what is that? Well, it was a place at the Arctic. So in 1868, I loaded up a, a load of, uh, of supplies and I took off with my reindeer, with my sled, and I arrived at the North Pole. And there I am all these years later. And it, it was over the Civil War that I got there. So the history is which in this community. We've got that history. We've got the now history of today in these wonderful streets of Old Town. And I am so happy that I can visit here as much as I can and, and just wish you all the very best. Merry Christmas. We, uh, we're here to visit family in Fredericksburg and this is, uh, we have family that have lived here their whole lives and we uh, normally, we're from Alabama, but we've uh, really enjoyed it here. So, uh, it's and a nice this place. Is, uh, this is my first time here in Fredericksburg um, and so far it's a very lovely quaint town and very cozy and welcoming. Windows. These are very special windows every year. 
uh, they come up with a different topic and this year it's the elves and we always enjoy it. For me, Christmas is very special because it, symbol, it symbolizes the birth of Christ and I like to, for people to remember what it's truly about. It's not about the gifts, it's not about the decoration, it's about a very special point in, in history where one person died to bring the whole world together. And to me, that's the meaning of Christmas. Christmas in Fredericksburg is wonderful. The shops are nicely decorated. They have wonderful things. The tourists come to visit and to shop here. Uh, the trolley and the carriage tour take you around and it's, it's all beautifully decorated downtown and the homes are nice, nicely decorated. And it's just a wonderful time of year to be in Fredericksburg. Christmas in uh, Fredericksburg is a grand time of the year. There's folks around, nicely dressed, looking at the, at the city, at the larger houses.